వెల్కమ్ టు ద ఛానల్ ఆరోగ్య లర్న ఫర్ కేసిఈటి నీట్ ద ఫిగర్ బిలో షోస్ టూ కెపాసిటర్స్ సి వన్ అండ్ సి టూ కనెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఏ సర్కిట్ ద పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ విఏ మైనస్ విబి ఈస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ ద పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దిస్ ఎండ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఎండ్ ఓకే సో పాయింట్ ఏ ఈస్ హియర్ అండ్ ద పాయింట్ బీ ఈస్ హియర్ okay so from uh, the question we have to find the potential difference between these two ends remember these two ends are the ends of the capacitors here we are having two batteries and two capacitors to get the potential difference across this capacitor we may follow one of the method that i show you here first simply remove this battery okay so first what i do is uh, remove e2 okay so when i remove e2 the same will appear like this there will be no battery e2 there will be only e1 e1 is how much 12 volt and this capacitor is 2 microfarad and this is a 4 microfarad these two capacitors are in series right so now capacitors can be taken in series so when the two capacitors are in series we follow the rule c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 so for this what we have to do is we simply put the values and i call this as cs simply so by definition what we can write so it is cs is equals q which is the charge in the first situation where we have only the first battery divide by the potential difference that is applied otherwise emf of the battery which is 12 volt okay so remember in a series uh, charges are uh, same in both capacitors right so in series we should note it in series capacitors charges are same charges are same so in this situation what we can do further is uh, as we know from this formula right cs is uh, <laughs> equal to it is 2 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4 micro right so how much we can write it So this is uh, nothing but uh, mm, I can simply say it is 4 by 3 microfarad. Right. So CS is 4 by 3 microfarad. Therefore, Q1 is uh, equal to CS into 12. Otherwise, Q1 is equal to 4 divided by 3 into 12 micro coulomb. No doubt, this will come. Uh, how much? This is uh, 4 into... 4 otherwise 16 micro coulomb this is the amount of charge in both of the capacitor that means just observe this is plus right so this side of the capacitor will possess plus 16 micro coulomb and on this side we are having minus 16 micro coulomb and the same is true here since it is negative here right so this should be minus 16 micro coulomb and on this side it is plus 16 micro coulomb Uh, from this one what i can observe is this is a uh, the real situation where uh, the capacitors are processing this much charge right so uh, let us remove the next uh, battery that is uh, e1 okay so now remove e1 and just have the battery e2 uh, when i remove uh, the remaining terminal should be shorted so that means uh, when i remove okay so when i remove even right so what it happens the upper capacitor still is the same that is 2 micro farad and uh, now we are having only e2 here right and uh, the bottom capacitor is still as it is and here there is no e1 right this is 24 volt right so this is 24 volt what we are having here and uh, this one is 4 micro farad again 
since uh, there is uh, no change in the capacitor value again cs remains 4 by 3 as before okay so it is as it is here i call the amount of charge in both the capacitors as q2 q2 is equals cs into 24 because we are having 24 volt so q2 is equal to 4 divided by 3 into 24 micro coulomb so further i can simply say q2 is equals this is 3 and this is 24 means it is 8 so 8 fours are it is a 32 micro coulomb right so i got q2 is equals 32 micro coulomb and in series connection both capacitors should have same charges uh, each place should have a charge 32 micro coulomb here is a positive terminal of the battery so this is a processing a charge 32 micro coulomb and uh, the second plate is minus 32 micro coulomb here the bottom plate is a uh, minus right the terminal of the battery is negative here so this must be minus 32 micro coulomb and this plate is plus 32 micro coulomb well so now what i have to think is i have to think only about these two terminals which is said a here and b here right so here also the same this terminal is a and this terminal is b in the given circuit right so here is a and here is b uh, i just observe those two points in both the drawings what i made here right so what i have to think is just observe the plate what i have to think is only about this one right only about this one whatever that happens here the same will happen on the other side okay so effective charge should be thought now so that is what i am doing so effective charge on uh, the plate under inspection right under uh, inspection is okay so first what actually we are having we are having plus 16 right so this is the plate of interest so here we are putting our interest that is plus 16 micro coulomb here right so plus 16 micro coulomb and now we are having how much minus 32 that should be added minus 32 micro coulomb this is called the superposition okay so the two charges will add uh, algebraically so we get what so it is plus 16 micro coulomb minus 32 micro coulomb and in total it is minus 16 micro coulomb right so minus 16 micro coulomb so what it happened you, ha you just observe uh, what i said actually i simply put my interest on a the left plate of the upper capacitor and here are uh, the two terminals a and b my plate of interest is uh, this one okay so here i found minus 16 micro coulomb it means here we should have plus 16 micro coulomb no doubt okay still the capacitance of the capacitor remains as it is so now what i have to find is the potential difference between the ends so in this situation the capacitance of the capacitor still remaining the same i can simply say it is q effective right divided by the potential difference between the terminals ab so further what i can do is vab is equal to q divided by c okay so vab is a uh, equal to what i can write so it is a uh, uh, on a, any plate so it is 16 divided by right 16 micro divided by c is 2 micro so don't use the unit simply use the prefix 2 micro so this implies vab is equal to 8 volt but the problem is you know we are having in options minus 8 and plus 8 right so i have to do nothing with option 3 and 4 just observe options 1 and 2 I am having minus 8 here and plus 8 here. So, which one I have to choose? For that, just observe the situation. 
here what we are having here we are having minus 16 that means this terminal should be negative and here we are having positive that means this is positive right so that means uh, the potential VA is negative and uh, EB is positive so potential difference therefore potential difference VAB is equal to VA minus VB right so and VA is less than VB that means it is negative right so what it should be it should be minus 8 volt so with respect to B A is negative that is the meaning which is minus 8 volt so what we have to choose here now now we have to choose minus 8 volt this is our answer